Welcome, it's Ken with ASM, and today we're going to talk about a new feature in Hydrosynth 2.0. This is our quantize feature that's located in both the envelope and LFO sections on the Hydrosynth. So what does quantize do? Quantize allows us to reduce the dynamic resolution of our envelopes and LFOs. And you might be wondering, well, why would I want to do that? A lot of older vintage sounding synthesizers that used digital controlled envelopes, they could do things like stepping in them, or maybe you want to do something just a little bit more rhythmic sounding with your envelopes and LFOs, and this is going to help you get there. So let's take a quick look at how this affects our wave shapes first and foremost. Now, I'm on an initialized patch. I'm going to take my cutoff value uh, down just below halfway, and I'll bring up the LFO amount so that you can hear what we have going on. So on this sine wave here, it's a nice smooth open and close sound. Let's introduce some quantize. And you could hear how right around 17, there's a bit of a graininess to the sound. This is really useful for that vintage kind of sound. Now, if we take it back around five here, that's when we're in a very rhythmic area. Now, just to further illustrate, let's go ahead and raise the resonance of this patch up a bit so you can really hear those steps pop out. Now let's go ahead and see how this affects the wave shape. If we turn the smooth parameter, you'll see that the sine wave is going to be shifted to the side a bit. It kind of turns into like a triangle shape. Now the quantize is going to take place after this. And if we use different wave shapes, such as saw down, we're able to get some really interesting wave shapes. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to how the envelopes are affected with this parameter. With an initialized patch, I'm going to drop my cutoff down a good bit here. We'll bring up some envelope amount and let's set a basic envelope shape. And we'll give some release here as well. So here's the basic sound. Pretty standard there. Now let's introduce some quantize. Let's take it down around 33. You can hear it starting to get a little bit more grainy. Drop it down to 17. Now 
Now let's go to the extremes. Now that we explored some basics of using quantize, let's check out another patch example. Here what I've done is I've set up a pretty basic patch using two oscillators, voice mod, and you know some filtering here. What I've also done is I've used LFO to be in a unipolar mode, and it's going to scan through the wave scan. I have that mapped to a macro. So let's listen without the wave scan. Now let's introduce the wave scan. Now let's introduce some quantize. We'll start with it around 9. What's nice is when we start changing this quantized value, you're going to hear the rhythmic properties of this change as well. So it's quite easy to get these beautiful rhythmic changes and, and just a different character to your patch using Quantize. If you have any further questions about Hydrosynth 2.0, feel free to visit us at ashensalemachines.com or visit us on Facebook at the official ASM Hydrosynth Facebook group.